Andrea's little car, she cooked that caramel, that, which is full of sugar, until it was really bubbling. So she's made toffee. So is it going to be like sticking our teeth? Or is it going to be you bite into it and it just melts, melts. away? That's what we're going to be looking for. The caramel overflowed in the tart a little bit, so it might be difficult taking out. I run my knife long, it's still stuck in, so yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking, and then I look at the clock. 15 minutes to go, everybody. I'm gutted, don't know what to do. I'm having a little freak out. The tart's stuck in the tin, I can't get it out. Do I make another tart case with some pastry? Because I've still got pastry. Don't really know what to do. Andrea. Yeah. What's going on? Um, yeah. The caramel overflowed, so it's stuck. It's stuck to the tin. Yeah. So the caramel overflowed, and so it's like what? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you've just come and saved me. And I am relieved. <laughs> I was freaking out a bit. Were you? But I'm moving, fine now. Moving right along. Right, there's blenders going, there's noise, they're working away. It's like a good little kitchen team going on out there. What are you seeing? We've got Italian meringue, salted caramel, West Indian street food, for God's sake. Look, we've never seen a truly fantastic vegetarian dish here, have we? I'll tell you what, he needs a win because he's been right down the bottom of the pack for quite some time, hasn't he? I don't know what effect Ella or Fasco had on Matt, but I'm slightly spooked by the Guinness and licorice sauce yes. on the serpent too. What's it missing? Maybe we're going to make culinary history here today, one way or the other. <laughs> I'm comfortable. I'm very happy with where I'm at. All very much going according to plan. What I'm loving about what's going on out there, Ray, is we've given them no direction. There's no core theme they've got to follow. And there's all these fantastic ideas coming out. Yeah, that's what interests me. You on track? I am, yes. Ready? I need to start plating yeah. up soon though. But all my elements are pretty much done now. Yeah. It's just have they set, have they hardened, have they cooked properly. So it's kind of make or break, isn't it? Pretty much. Come on, little pastry circle, out you come. Don't be shy. Dave, you deep frying doubles. I sure am. Yeah, and you just got water on there. Yeah. I was going to step back when you put that in. Rather than normally rolling out dough with flour so it doesn't stick, you actually get a whole lot of water and you sort of spread it out. And it's kind of a bit counterintuitive because you'd think, well, you're going to be able to put water in hot oil. Shouldn't that just explode? But it's what helps it kind of puff up. Oh, look, this is what I'm after. That's just a little bit of puffiness. Yeah. They certainly look nice. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to try them. You got a vision of what it's going to look like, Matt, when it's all finished? I do. I'm just looking for colour, you know, all different colours. And the featured coloured fries. I want the flavours just to come together. And what do you think about your Guinness and the Guinness and licorice, licorice sauce? It came to me in the pantry. I just saw the licorice and Can then you I saw take the Guinness. It in your head? I could, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. <laughs> the bitterness of the Guinness and the acidity of the licorice. I'm hoping mm. it's going to be a taste sensation. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little worried at this stage. I'm very concerned, though. I'm sceptical about a lot of things. End of the day, it's an invention test. I'm hoping that I've come up with a culinary sensation. Ten minutes to go, everybody. Just ten minutes left. Honey, you're down to six minutes yep. to go. I, I gather you thought you had plenty of time. We still got nothing in the glass. So it's all gonna go in this this is like the challenge when you left the fish in the deep fryer. Do not do this to me. I left it to the very last minute, and I could have started ten minutes before. Oh my God, you've forgotten the oh, nozzle. Get another one. It's all right. It's panicky at the end, but I knew I was going to get it out. Don't do this to me again, no. Anna. You no. need to finish this challenge. There's no, not another I... dish that will get you over the line. It's one dish you've got, and you have less yep. than five minutes to have this dish up. Renton, what are you making? A uh, sober noodle nori roll. Have and... you used uh, nori before? No, I haven't. Do you know what you're doing with it? Yes, I do. Okay. Definitely know what I'm doing with it. I've made baklava probably about 
four times before, so I'm not an expert, but today's baklava has come out just as good as any other that I've made before. Oh, yeah. Darcy, how are you going, girl? I'm good. Are I'm... you going to make it? Yep, I will. I just need to make sure that I get these ice cream discs out and perfect, and hopefully they don't melt. So I start plating it up and I get it to sort of three levels and it's starting to look really pretty. Don't melt, you bastard. Two minutes to go, you guys. Two minutes to go right now. It seems to go the fridge. It's starting to melt pretty quickly. And by the time I actually get to the fridge, it's just gone over the place. It's a mess. This is not cool. Just one minute left. What do you reckon? Are they going to finish? Anna's right down to the wire again. She's getting my heart racing. Chelsea's a bit under the pump as well, actually. She's yeah. replating as we speak. My ice cream is completely melted, so I'm just going to have to try and plate this differently. The adrenaline and, um, during those last few minutes when I'm trying to plate up this soggy mess, it's crazy. Chelsea's 45 seconds left, and she's plating up a new plate. Anna's just on the home straight. I think she's going to make it. Brenton's still pulling things out of the oven. There's only 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds, everybody. Come on. Not yet. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Get it out of the oven. Get it on the plate. You've got three hungry judges up here who want to try your invention. I hear Simon yell out. I'm literally grabbing gin jelly with my fingers and splodging it onto the plate. Only 10 seconds to go. Oh, this is just a nightmare. I can't believe I've just done this. What an idiot. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the bench. Well, there I go. I don't know what can I say? Just an epic fail. <laughs> Didn't expect my ice cream to melt so quickly, but it just, yeah, it really did. So I've just basically served up a bowl of ice cream with a bit of pastry. <laughs> This is the crappiest thing I've ever plated up. <laughs> oh, it was going to look so good, too. I've been trying really, really hard and producing, I think, some good dishes. This is just a disaster. Tough challenge, guys. Have you made the grade? We're about to find out. Dave, come on up. So I'm on the street in West Indies. What am I eating? You're eating doubles. Red, curry, and your condiments. First one there, this, just a reduction of tamarind with a bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. That's a mango and coriander kind of chutney, and a coriander, garlic, and sweet chili style sauce. Gotta say, I'm quite excited about this. Food in West Indies, right? The hottest. Ooh, boy. Uh, sensational is the only word I can think of. Really good. Tastes fantastic. Wow. Love it. Love the heat. You've done a sensational job and it transports me right to uh, the West Indies. Well done, mate. Street food at its best. Congratulations. Thank you very much.